<laughs> Good day, class. I have an announcement. Today, we have a very special guest joining our class. <gasps> a special guest? I wonder who it is. I'll give you some hints. She lives on land and she says, Moo. <gasps> She's a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, I know! Yes, Oscar? I believe the answer is a cow. Ooh! You got it! Our special guest today is a cow. And her name is Moolissa. I know all about cows. They eat grass and hay, and they like to stay in groups called herds. Ooh, do they have lots and lots of sharp teeth? How many legs do they have? Uh, ten legs. Really? <laughs> no, not really. A cow only has four legs. Ah, this is going to be so neat. I've never met a cow before. Although I do have a cousin who's a horse. Or was it a seahorse? I can't wait for Moolissa to get here. What are we going to do when she does, Mr. Magellan? Well, Moolissa's never been to the ocean before. So we're all going to go on a field trip. Hooray! Yay! We'll take her all around town and show her what life is like underwater. Oh, we're going to have so much fun! We'll go exploring the reef and Melissa can smell all the beautiful flowers there. <laughs> and then we'll take her to Chef Seymour's restaurant. She's going to love our favorite food, sea getty! Here you go. Try some sea getty. Mm. <laughs> and then we're going to swim all around together. I'll bet she's a really fast swimmer. On your marks, get set, go! We're going to have so much fun, and we'll all be best friends for ever! Oh, um, <coughs> what were you saying, Mr. Magellan? Hello? Is this Mr. Mugellan's class? It sure is. Come on in. Ah, perfect. Say moo. Ah. <laughs> Everyone, please welcome Moo Lissa to our class. Hi, Hi Moo Lissa. Lissa. I'm Finny. I'm Oscar. I'm Myrtle. I'm Sandy. I mean, I mean, I'm Sammy. So, Moo Lissa, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Um, okay. I'm Melissa. I live in a farm up on land. I go to school in a barn with chickens, pigs, ducks, and horses. Hey, maybe you know my cousin. <laughs> 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 Oop, looks like it's time to start the field trip, everyone. First stop, the reef. Follow me. Yay! 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 <laughs> to the reef, do, 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 to the reef. And here it is, the reef. This amazing place provides food and a safe place to live for many of our neighbors here in town. Wow. Oh, and look here. This is called brain coral. That's because it looks like a brain. Look at them all. How many are there? Don't ask me. Give them a count. One, five, six, nine, two, six, one, seven, seven, eight, 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 seven, eight, 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 seven nine, twelve, eleven, twenty thousand nine hundred twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice counting, Melissa. You found all ten of the brain coral here. Wow, you're good at finding things quickly, Melissa. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh. Look at all those pretty flowers. They smell really good, too. Achoo! Yeah! They smell great, great, great! Try smelling them, Melissa. Hmm? Mm. I can't smell the flowers with this bowl on my head. Why don't you just take it off to smell them? No, I can't. You can breathe underwater because you have gills. But I have lungs, which means I can only breathe air above ground and in this bowl. Oh, I thought you'd be able to sniff the flowers like we can. It's time for the second stop on our field trip. Lunchtime at the best restaurant in town. Oh, Melissa, you're going to love this place. Come on! Hey, yo, Mr. Magellan's class. And a special guest from above the sea, I see. <laughs> I know exactly what to give you. The Sea Getty Special. Don't go anywhere. What's Sea Getty? It's the best. Sea Getty's made from seaweed plants and algae found all over the ocean. Yum. It's very healthy for growing turtles. Well, that's what my grandma says anyways. It's delicious, too. I can't wait to eat it. Here you go. Ooh. Enjoy. Mwah. Well, what do you think? Um... Well, it's... It's, uh, really wet and salty. Oh, does that mean you don't like it? Hmm, I don't know. I've never eaten anything quite like it before. What food do you eat on land? My favorite food is called hay. It's so dry and plain. Want to try? I brought some to share. I like how crunchy it is. It has a grassy-like hay taste with a hint of sassafras. I guess you didn't end up liking the Sea Getty after all. So what are we going to do next, Mr. Bajalid? We're going to the park. Yay! I love the park! Good idea. Wait up. So what do you want to do? I know. Let's race each other. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll start here, and the first one to get those rocks over there wins! Got it? Got, Got it. it! Get ready. Get set! Go! Here I come! <laughs> <laughs> Almost there! Burn! Second! <laughs> that was fun! Hey, where's Melissa? I'm trying. I'm trying. Phew. Racing underwater is hard. My legs sure are better at running on land. Yeah, I guess our fins help us swim pretty quick underwater. Hmm. What can we do that we'll all have fun with? Yeah. Something where Melissa doesn't have to swim around so fast. Oh, I know. How about a game of hide and seek? Melissa, you'll be great at it. You were so good at finding all that coral before. <sighs> oh, I love hide and seek. And you're super duper good at counting to 10. <laughs> all right, you're on. You hide and I'll seek you. Ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Hide and seek, moo, 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 moo. Hide and seek, moo, 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 moo. Hide and seek, moo, 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 moo. Hide and seek. Hide and seek, moo, 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 moo. Hide and seek, moo, 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 moo. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. 
thank you for coming to visit our class today, Mulissa. It was so nice having you. Thanks, Mr. Mugellan. I had such a great time. I guess we're kind of different down here, aren't we? Yep. You have gills and I have lungs. You eat hay and we eat seaweed. You have fins and I have hooves. You walk and we swim. But even though we're different, we're still friends, right? Yeah, of course we are. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now, let's all take a picture together. Say moo! Moo! Just me and the open road. Oops, I can't cross over this fresh asphalt. Better turn around. Watch out, runaway stay roller! What in tarnation? Catch that Oh, man. gosh! I better head over to that Carl's car wash. I heard he's the best in the biz. And I've got trouble. Oh boy, Bubba. It's bad. That's what I thought. Can you get it off? You bet. Okay, let's see. What kind of vehicle are you driving? Is it a digger? A big rig? Or a cement mixer? That's it. It's a big rig. Let's see how messy it is. Is it a little messy? Medium messy? Or super duper messy? Well, I'd say it's medium messy. Now, let's see what type of mess this is. Well, it's hot, sticky, and still steaming. Is it lots of leaves, fishy fish, or tacky tar? <laughs> it's totally tacky tar. And finally, what size is this vehicle? Is it normal sized? Or is it big? Well, big is in its name, so this vehicle is definitely big. Well, I'll be. That'll be 15 tokens, Bubba. Not a problem. I'll give them to you five at a time. Five, 10, 15. It's time to get you gussied up, Big Rig.
car wash took the tacky towel right off my truck. Gotta thank you big time, Carl. You're welcome, Bubba. Uh. And come back soon, big guy! Numbs. Today, the Bumble Numbs are going to make erupting raspberry lava cake. But what's the secret ingredient? Two cups of raspberry jam. The Bumble Numbs are at the base of the Mount Fruity Volcano. Are you ready to go up and get your raspberry jam, Grumble? Yum! How about you, Humble? Yum! And you, Stumble? Are you ready to go up to the top? Yum! The Mount Fruity Volcano is getting restless, Bumble Nums. You know what that means. Yum! Now remember, Bumble Nums, we need two cups of raspberry jam, and you need to get them before the volcano erupts. The clock is ticking. Yum, 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 yum. Yikes! Watch out for the molten hot marmalade. Yum? Yum. No, Stumble. That's a crater full of grape jelly. The raspberry jam you need is at the top. Yum, yum! Yum! Oh, no! A stream of steaming strawberry jam! Watch out! Remember, Bumble Mums, you need two cups of raspberry jam for your erupting raspberry lava cake. And hurry! Do you have the two cups of raspberry jam? All right, now that we have the secret ingredient to make our erupting raspberry lava cake, it's time for the cooking countdown. Bumble Nums, you've done it again. 
How does it taste, Bumble Nums? <laughs> yum, yum! Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was taking photos of his favorite banana. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. Who could that be? It's the elephant family. Mr. Monkey, hello! Boy, are we glad to see you! We have an enormous problem. Oh, how can I help you today? We're heading off on our vacation, but our family van doesn't seem to fit us anymore. It used to fit us just fine. Hmm, that's strange. Let me take a look at it. Mr. Monkey checks the van. He checks the front seat. He checks the back seat. He checks the trunk. So, what's wrong with our van, Mr. Monkey? Why won't it fit us anymore? Well, your van is very small, and your family is very big. You have a lot of elephants that need to fit into your van. Now that you mention it, there are a few more of us since we bought the van. Can you fix it? Hmm, Mr. Monkey needs to figure this out. Off to his workbench. Let's see. The very big elephant family is having a hard time fitting inside their very small van. Hmm, well, when houses become too small for a family, they can either buy a bigger house or they can build more rooms onto the house they have. That gives Mr. Monkey an idea, but he's going to need a lot of supplies. He'll need some wood, He'll also need some windows and a whole lot of seats. He'd better take all of his nuts and bolts, too, just to be safe. And of course, his trusty Chucky Wrench! He isn't finished just yet. Finally, Mr. Monkey is all done. Phew! Wow! Look at that, everyone! Cool! You get to ride in that? Well, don't just look at it, Elephant Family. Go on inside, try it out. Hey, Gally, I can stretch my trunk out! Ha <laughs> ha! Fabulous! Mr. Monkey, you did it! Our van is no longer small and cramped. It's big and spacious. There's so much trunk space. <laughs> I can feel the wind in my ears again. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work. Now we can continue our vacation! Next up, Albuquerque! 
another satisfied customer. Or should I say, customers? And with that, it's time for Mr. Monkey to get back to whatever he was doing. <laughs>